Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Our region's business, improving our economy, creating jobs and strengthening communities. Innovation, collaboration, transformation, and the people making it happen. Join us as we take a closer look at our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, cybersecurity in the banking arena and what you need to do to protect your money. Plus, leadership and literacy, a new public-private partnership that's making a difference for kids in our region. But first, a name you know in an industry that might surprise you. Think about Rolls-Royce and the product it makes, and you'd probably say luxury cars. And you'd be wrong. The cars with the iconic brand are actually made by BMW. So if it's not cars, so you'd probably say jet engines. And you'd be right. Rolls-Royce makes propulsion systems for aircraft and seagoing vessels as well. But unless you work for the company, you may not know that Rolls-Royce is in the nuclear energy business too. And not only that, the company runs its uh, North American business right here out of our region. And Paul Tobin joins us today. He's Executive Vice President with Rolls-Royce Nuclear. Welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you. Yeah, so this is, a, I think, you, got, you must get people surprised all the time, right? You're not rolling up here in a silver shadow or whatever and, and selling cars. Yeah, so what, 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 what does Rolls-Royce do here in our region? It's so, so here in the, in the region, um, Rolls-Royce, we run our, our global nuclear uh, digital services out of, right out of Pittsburgh, right by the airport. Um, out of Moon, Moon Township, and, and we service nuclear plants around the world. We have a customer base of about 50% of the global nuclear power plants um, have open contracts with us uh, here in Pittsburgh. So digital, I mean, the control systems, how all the facilities work, how they monitor what's going so it's on. It's really the use of, of the big yeah. data um, processing okay. and looking for ways to optimize the plants and, and gain more efficiency and, and help to reduce some of the costs. Well, Pittsburgh is the birthplace of the commercial nuclear power industry, so yeah. I, I guess I can understand why Rolls-Royce uh, would want to be here, but how did they come to be here in the first place? Yeah, so, so Rolls-Royce acquired my family's business uh, about four or five years ago. And um, it, was an, it was a good connection for us. Mm. Uh, when you look at the brand Rolls-Royce and the global footprint that they, they bring, um, it helped us grow internationally um, and, and help connect into some of these other more difficult regions of the world where you have to be more locally present. <laughs> How do you do work in these other countries? Rolls-Royce has the infrastructure that really helped us to accelerate our growth. So you can benefit from that corporate infrastructure in all those places as you're trying to open markets and service clients Correct. as well. Huh? Yeah. So, the, uh, so uh, how many people do you have here? Uh, we have about 300 employees here in Pittsburgh. Okay, but it's really servicing the whole world and, and that's part the, of the, the Rolls-Royce business, right? Yeah, we're right here in Pittsburgh, about 300, and then we have another 50, 75 employees scattered globally. Hmm. And, and where are you finding the talent to do all of this? <laughs> that's the ongoing question. Yeah. Uh, there is a lot of great local talent here in Pittsburgh, and that is where we, we look to recruit. Um, we look for young engineers, mid-career and, and retired uh, people that can we can use as consultants to help uh, through some of the uh, some of the different challenges that uh, go on. So, we do look locally first, and then we look start to expand the radius out from Pittsburgh. Maybe you reach into Ohio, West Virginia. You know, uh, and and on out as as uh, we continue to need more and more people to come in and help us. No, it's good to hear you can find them. I guess uh, some people wonder what's the demand. I mean, it was a decade ago we were talking about the nuclear renaissance, and then they struck gas in the Marcella Shale. <laughs> and you know, the, the energy industry has really been turned upside down. What, what's your outlook on the prospects for commercial nuclear energy? You know, the commercial nuclear energy is just a, it's a it's a great power generation. You know, very low you know zero emission uh, out. Um, and virtually it's, carbon uh, free, right? Yeah, virtually yeah. carbon free, exactly. Yeah. So, um, it, it is a it is an ongoing challenge due to some of the you know ongoing regulations, and and all that you know how those business cases connect. Um, I, I think the outlook still is good uh, for for commercial nuclear, both here in the U.S. and, and internationally. Well, we have a here an issue here in the in the United States because of regulatory issues and the cost of competition. I mean, there's been talk of decommissioning even Three Mile Island. There's been some talk about Beaver Valley uh, here in our region, but I guess around the world. The policy environment is different and, and, the, and the prospects for the industry must be playing out differently depending on where you are. That's exactly right. So you have a lot of other countries that are looking at uh, commercial nuclear power to, to help to, to generate the much needed electricity in those regions. So it is a different, it's, it's an interesting game when you look at 
crossing over those borders and what is, what is the political environment in those different countries. And there are a lot of countries looking at and evaluating new commercial reactors. Yeah, I guess there's been a lot of construction underway in China, especially of late, and, and exactly. I'm expected to continue to be. Um, is is Rolls-Royce mostly in design build? Are you in servicing, uh, you know, all, all of the above? Yeah, so, so Rolls is a big company. <laughs> Even within the nuclear business, there's a lot of different services that mm. we offer. So when you look at what we do from our um, British defense, you know, helping with the, the British submarine uh, program. Are you involved in the submarines as well? Okay. On the on the UK side. Okay, sure. <laughs> and then, um, uh, you know, back down into the commercial civil nuclear generation space, you know, from services, we don't have a a new full-size, you know, nuclear reactor that, that we offer. So we're different than a lot of the other bigger players in the in the market. However, you know, from uh, getting the utilities and the plants that are, you know, done with construction and in generation, optimizing their performance to help them perform better, help them to lower their costs so that they, they can survive in the market uh, scenarios. Yeah. Really a big part of, of what we do in the it, with our digital optimization. Yeah. How'd you get involved with it in the first place? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. So my father comes out of the nuclear industry, so it, we kind of second generation in the nuclear industry is a funny, funny process. But um, uh, you, you start to, you know, you, you really understand how it works. You understand how safe they are. You know, I had no problem moving my family into the parking lot <laughs> of, of one of the facilities uh, here in the U.S. So um, y you start to understand how that works and you say, wow, this is a great industry. There's great people uh, across this industry and it really, once you get involved, you see the strength of, of what this um, a particular sec sector does. Well, and when you think about baseload generation and how we can generate the kind of power we need to run big factories and that sort of stuff, uh, nuclear it plays an important role, does it not? Yep, yeah, exactly. It does. It helps to feed the base load, and 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 again with that you know zero emission carbon emission, um, it, it's a it is a viable technology. Well, and having of course living here in Pittsburgh, gotten to know so many nuclear engineers and others who people who work in the industry. I know it's it's such a safety conscious industry, right. and I think they feel very frustrated sometimes that uh, you know the value it can provide, they don't feel as fully appreciated. Right. It is, they are amazing to get tours of, of some of the facilities. Um, you know how clean they are, the, the safety record, the performance record. It's it's stellar. Well, it's exciting. Great to know <laughs> that Rolls-Royce of all is here in our region, uh, is servicing the nuclear energy industry worldwide. Paul Tobin, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Great, yeah. thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Next up, the woman in charge of cybersecurity at PNC. Stay with us.